so I can reveal the trick. <laughs> What's the bad part of that agreement, man? No, oh, the bailiff's in the back, my oh, god. Mr. Hat. I forgot about Mr. Hat. The other games. Okay. Somebody like put him in there. Maybe the manager guy put him in there when they were fucking around on the stage. Who knows, man? could you accidentally climb in there? It's very, very hard to go an underground passage, climb up a ladder, and jump in a coffin on accident. The great Mr. Orayus. Quick switch as well, yeah. Surely something happened in all that smoke and shit. We'll have to just be introduced to some more options. Give it a touch! A gentle touch. Apollo's only got eyes for her chest, man, Jesus. Your tits are fine, Tracy.
He doesn't know yet, man. He doesn't know they're related yet, man. I can't. Um. Is it her hand? Healthy young male, <laughs> yeah. Oh, her. She got crazy eyes, man. <laughs> Not young enough, so. Gotcha. Gotcha. Where did he get this magic bracelet anyways, man? Fucking line that can be reused in the wrong way. I don't know what is, man. <laughs> this is a badge, man. Sure, you would know what it feels like to fucking slide a sword through a man's body. Unless that's like the sharpest sword to ever exist. But... Where's the blood? We've seen from every other game, anybody who dies was murdered. Nobody dies by accident. They're always murdered. I 
I don't need proof, man. It's the data. Picture perfect. In this world, that's all I'm wearing, yeah. It is LA, man. LA. It's always murder, man. Punished Trucy. <laughs> Must protect. <laughs> Oi. Who done it? Forgot this person was even here, man. Fuck Athena, man. Old crazy eyes, Athena, man. <laughs> Why are you here? It's Apollo needs an assistant, I guess, man. Confess her undying love to Apollo. Yeah, somebody has to bully Apollo, exactly. <laughs> oh, Trucy, man. At two, Trucy? Big and black, man. Let's go to the Penrose Theater, man. We start with the dressing room. Those rabbits are just fucking... The giant's ass! been jacked. Oh, 
<laughs> Fucking weeb. Never know when you gotta do some street fighting, man. It's so, like they gave her like one serious case and then she's just like full retard for the rest of the rest of the games. Inclusive series, yeah. <laughs> Inclusive to the, the mentally deranged. from the first game, man. You got Maya. Investigations didn't have too many retards. Pretty much just anything on the main line. K was pretty, pretty fine. Magnify Goramari. Oh, all those fucking Reese, man. Looks like he's in his early 20s and then he's still in his early 20s and it's gotta be like at least 10 years later. Thirteen years. Maybe he wanted revenge, man. So he killed himself. And blamed it on her. Maybe he's alive, man. All that makeup was doctoring a fake corpse. Nice dress. <laughs> By the scent. That's kind of creepy there, man. Don't be saying shit like that. Isn't this Clavier's fucking symbol? Pretentious. Nine tailed flowers. Nine tails, but I look like a goddamn sunflower. I'm Lutenma's monster? Mm 
This is from the shittiest case in five, right? Oh, with the Cherku. Did the charms on the face. <clears throat> oh my god, they're having fucking intercourse. Jesus, man, Athena did just too much. Damn, dude, on the last, man. Thank God we can investigate everything, man. The game will actually be more difficult. Cuckoo, kachoo. Open the damn fucking. Open it. Hey, look, it's a steel samurai, man. Why is the steel samurai in here? Did they never find out that that was their mama either? Is that going to be the only reference to the parenthood this whole game, then? Jesus Christ, dude. Phoenix knows, but he doesn't want to say nothing, man. I mean, I guess she might as well not be their mama. Because, I mean, when, have, when has she ever been there, right? It's pretty much all Phoenix. Who, well, who fucking took care of Apollo before all this, man? They have like fake fucking parents, man. Is he just alone? Bonnie. Is there gonna be a guy called Clyde? I think Bonnie the bunny. Show me some more of that leg, man. Stress transforms into a dragon. Trucy's hat trick. Apollo phone. Then who was fire? Really? Didn't notice that part. Horse thingy. Just gonna have a big fucking dildo in there, man. Who cares? The fuck? Somebody wanted to steal her tricks, man.
Somebody plant it there to make it look like he took it. <clears throat> I feel like they're kind of alluding to that. Maybe not, though. It sure was on display there. A little too obvious. Yeah, it looks like the Necronomicon or some shit, dude. It's like the thickest fucking book ever, too. For a fucking, like, diary. Naughty. That fucking shit eater grin, man, goddamn. Let's check the stage. I'm sure we'll meet somebody here. Fucking defense attorney don't have a right? I never understand that man. Who's the detective in this game, man? Guessing it's not Gumshoe. I'm sure, man. I don't check my voicemails for shit, man. <laughs> Dow Phoenix is terribly, terribly much different, man. The bitch woman? Is she still a bitch? That band looks like shit. I thought she was always good at forensics. I never understood why they wrote her as like someone who would fail it.
Alright. Slot base beginning. I must guy, man. I don't know if she'll ever be as good as her her one five debut, man. Or was it one six? I don't remember what the hell it was. I probably just took shit from the crime scene also, like, just took her diary and all that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I know who, I've seen the new prosecutor, but I'm curious since there's two settings in this. If we're gonna have that prosecutor be like, here? Or if he's going to be in Phoenix land, or if he's going to somehow be in both. We shall see. It makes it sound like they're got that guy being here. <clears throat> Guess we'll ask about her. I don't give a fuck. How did she ever fail the test, man? I feel like they just wrote that like shit. Oi! Oh man, Edgeworth. It's looking a little thicker though, man. Been hitting the gym, man. The thick neck, the shoulders, man. Jesus Christ, man, they all fucking uh, corrupt. I didn't like her failing the test, it didn't fit the character. Oops, you spent your entire life wanting to be a forensics person. I really find it hard to believe you would fail the test that many times. She'd have to be a broken individual. I could see why she was angry. I just don't see why she ever would fail it. She's doing forensics at like fucking 10 years old, man. I don't mind her getting it at all. I just don't think they're ready. I don't think she's as exciting as she was at the beginning. She just seems kind of normal now. She was pretty peppy back in like 1 5 and shit. 
MS guy has never been like the most interesting of the ladies, but she was good enough. She ain't okay. I think they just needed to make her more happy-go-lucky. She wasn't like stupid pep, but she was like happy. She's not like fucking Athena stupid happy, but oh, well, she just seems kind of right in the middle. Yeah. If they're not gonna make her like super happy, you'd almost rather her be a bitch, right? We got so many good games to play, boy. I'm excited. I'm always excited. So many. I'm thinking about all them 3DS games. Oh. Oh, oh Lord, Jesus. Lord. Na Nayuda Sadmati. Sodomy. Nah, you decided me. That's what his name is, man. Is that a pun, that name? I don't think so. They don't usually do pun names for big people. Naughty Sodomy, <laughs> there we go, that's what his name is. What's his name of shit? Yeah. He's already making up to be not an interesting prosecutor. Fucking naughty sodomy. <laughs> Him, the beast from the east. Doubt it. Most prosecutors end up pretty nice guys, but they always are like anti hero mode, man. two possibilities man. once I haven't introduced the actual killer could be a duo bunny girl seems to be pretty suspicious but they might have just been pushing her to look suspicious and the manager looks like he's murder somebody every weekend looks like it'd be a two-person job unless there's some weird automation going on but they don't usually have like two-person murder sessions, but could be. They should. I don't think there's been many, if any, right? Has there? There's been ones with accomplices, but I don't think it's been anything insane.
I just wish this screen was more colorful. It's the only reason I'm not using it. Very whitewash, man. Gumshoe, man. Gumshoe would have been way more interesting than MS Guy. <laughs> Big dick gummy. <laughs> Big dick gummy. Yeah, I'd rather have fucking Gumshoe back. The Pinnacle of 2011 technology. <laughs> hey man, this came out in 2017, I'll have you know. It's just like, I mean, like I compare every monitor I have the screen on. My monitor is more vibrant. The T is more vibrant. This is like whitewash as fuck, man. They should just let you like customize it. I mean, my TV and my monitor is pretty well customized too, but. Bada big dick. At least I can play this game through the TV. Investigated something. Well, let's investigate. That's Emma Scott, and that's her tush. How does she know whose pretzels even arm him? Slight lag if I try to go through the TV because I have the post processing turned on to make it look better because I don't need to be actual, actually quick with my movements and accurate in this game. So might as well make the color look a little better. But in these scenes, I end up just using the pad instead, the system. Magic equipment. Alright. <clears> hmm, <throat> cut. The elephant in the room, man. This fucking... Sword Shack. It's 
Sounds like a fucked game, then. Americans. I forgot we were in America, man. So in Japan, is the game set in Japan, or is it still like LA? I'm pretty sure it was Japan, right? Same shit. How did that giant heart hit her, man? Or like fly through the air. Giant hearts aren't real. Give me the anime legs again, man. Never even noticed her ponytail, really. <laughs> Zoinks? Shadow. Oh shit. Let's take a peek at that video again. Where's the mysterious shadow? Saw it, mum. Flew up on the left side there. Somebody get fucking. That was when the uh. I thought that's when the um. Uh, the dude was supposed to fly up. The hat. Well, it wasn't the hat, so I'm out. Interesting. the outline for his hat, bro. Let's 
got a ribbon of jizz on his ass. A rope wrapped around his fucking ass, though. I think that's one of those things that you, like, attach a... One of those... One of those things, man. Kind of like a... Like a pulley thing, you know? I don't know what it's called. So we can go launching around somewhere. How could he have been stabbed in the back when she stabbed him from the side? Could he even have, like, fit in that direction? The harness, man. That's... It's an interesting way to have your harness set up, though, man. I've not seen many harnesses that just go around your waist. Fucking break your body, man. Maybe it goes from under his shirt, too. Let's examine that again, in greater detail. Why is his coat, like, suspended in midair? His cape on the right's got, like, a weird spike. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I don't see anything else, really. So check the secret door. We already know about the secret door. I like how the order of events doesn't change anything. Go down there, man. Go down there, I say. I mean, I don't think the law cares about magician's feelings. It's probably pretty important. I could have used the curtain then. Down here. Is this the real sword? This one's got blood on it. How do we know which one was actually used, though? I mean. Well, Trucy's fingerprints are going to be everywhere because she's used them all. No prints. Somebody could have switched out some of the weapons then.
Some disgusting individual. fucking best shit first so that you can actually start thinking or in case somebody else came in fucked with your shit If anybody actually has the same fingerprints, surely it's possible, though. Surely. I ain't blowing shit. Blowing dick. Printing this section in particular, man. Looking fully printed to me, man. It's good. Hmm. 